Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Travis Dykes. And on today's episode of Show Me That, we are going over a really, really dope video that's been going around since the beginning of this summer, which is with Varro and Thaddeus Johnson. Oh my gosh, they're like the dynamic duo when it comes to gospel music. Uh, they were playing with Fred Hammond. I don't know if they were subbing. I don't know what they're, I don't know if they're on tour with them. I don't know what it was, but they smacked at this show. They were killing it. So today we're gonna be going over the verse two of that whole thing where he does this crazy nasty lick. I'm really, really excited to be able to work on this and break this down for you guys. So go ahead and check out my Patreon if you wanna get my tabs, my loops, or any behind the scenes content and extra features when it comes to my channel. So without further ado, why don't you grab your bass and we'll jump into the lesson. So the way we're gonna learn this, is we're gonna break this up into two sections and break those sections up into parts. Okay, so the first section is gonna be the verse. And then the second section is going to be the chorus. And breaking it up is hopefully it makes it a little easier for us to dive in and learn each of these parts. So first things first, this is gonna be in the key of D flat major. All right, so pretty normal gospel key. And the way it starts off, it, it, I kind of do this little, which I mean, that's not really in the original song because they're doing like a live arrangement of it. But just so you know it, I'll just give it to you. It's just six, flat seven, and four. It's just in case you want to learn that. That's not really one of the parts, but I just want you to know. So really, the, the first part we're gonna do is gonna be this. I'm telling you, gospel music is way easier than what you think. So the way it's gonna start off is gonna start off with this D flat major triad arpeggio. Super easy. It's just one, three, five, and one. And then the next little section of this first part is gonna be the lick. If you don't know your pentatonic scale positions, I recommend you go learn those and then come back here. I'm not gonna really go over them. I'm just assuming that you guys already know them. So it's gonna be starting on the second position of the D flat major or C sharp major pentatonic scale. So we got the first one, which is first position in the second. 
just a, a little fresher. So he literally starts off with just a little, which is just going to that five, but you're sliding up to it and it's like a quick five. And then you go. And all this is, is playing your pentatonic second position. Okay. And then you're adding the color note. If you watch my color note video, you know what color notes are. That seven's right there. So you're just adding that seven. Okay. So. All right. Now the next part is where it gets a little tricky in your fingers. You're going to go. So all this is, is seven, five, another color note, the four, and then pedal on that one, and then to that three. Now, right when you go to that three, you're going to walk down to two and one. All right, so you got this. Now the last little part of this lick is going to be this simple, just a grace note sliding to that three, flat three to three. And that's it. And it's pentatonic, major pentatonic right there. All right. So now watch this. We're going to put all these pieces together. is it if i'm going too fast for you go ahead and hit that gear icon in the bottom right corner of the video player and you can set the playback speed to a little bit slower if you guys need to go a little bit slower but we're going to move on to the next part so the next part of this is going to be doing an arpeggio on the six or the b flat minor and all this is is going to be six one Hammer on two to three, five, six, and then lower octave of the six. And also this is gonna be slapped right here. And then right after that, you're gonna go into this. It's basically starting like I did it again with the six, one, and three. And then I'm just going down three, two, one, slat seven, just like that. So this next part of the verse, we're gonna be doing a little slap pop on the flat seven like this, which is just playing the octaves, which is just playing a note and going up two strings and down two frets like that to find that octave. And I'm just slapping on the first note and popping on the second. We're gonna go. So he's just doing a lot of single slap and pop. So we're just gonna go flat seven, six, two, four, and then go back to flat seven, six, two, three. Okay, and then four right there. Now, if you're like, ah, oh, I have a four string and I, I can't, I don't have a low E flat, I would suggest you to tune to a low, tune to E flat or tune like a half step down with all your strings, or you can go do your E flat here on your A string. But the only thing is, is that you're not gonna get that low deep sound unless you either tune down or not. Now he's actually on this song, he's tuned to flats, he's tuned to flats. I'm not tuned to flats, so I'm just kind of making it because this is kind of where most people are. Most people don't tune to flats, but in gospel music, it makes a lot of sense to tune to flats all the time. So, but this is how he's getting that deep sound. And then once you get to that four right there, you're gonna do slap, pop, slap. And then you're gonna go one, seven, six, and I'm slapping, and then seven, five. So, now we're going to part three, which is getting a little bit more involved in this. There's a lot of slapping and popping going on. So hopefully you're still with me. Also, while we have a break here, if you haven't already hit that like, subscribe, and that bell, 
go ahead and hit it right now because there's there's no need to wait. I mean, if you like this video and you're still in it, I mean, I guess this might as well go ahead and like it. <laughs> so anyways, let's get back to our lesson. So this next part is gonna be like this. So this next part is gonna start on the one. And then you're gonna go slap two, slap the three, five, one, pop, slap on the two, pop, three, pop. And you just do a slap pop on the five and then hammer on to the five to six. So it'd be like. And then right after that is gonna go. So this is gonna be six, three, one, two, three, six. Okay? Super simple. Now, if you don't have a five string, you can do this on your D string. It's not gonna have that same deep sound, uh, but it will still be the right notes. Like that. So after you do that line, you're gonna go three, five, six to kind of stay when you're there in that space. All right, and that's it for part three. So now part four is super easy. It's just gonna be two notes. If you have a five string, it's gonna be a low B, open, B, 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 and then a two, two, two. All right, and that's it. You can play a five going to that chorus, or you can walk it up like he does, like. Which is just two, three, four. And that leads you to the chorus. All right, now let's take a look at this chorus. The chorus is actually really simple, but it's just really groovy, okay? So it goes like this. So basically we're gonna be on the four. So that's the groove. Slap, pop, slap, ghost note, slap. So just like that. You see that? I do a slap and then I slide up to it. All right. And that's going to the six. So four. Five, six, five, and I do like a little slap pop there. You see I'm adding those slap ghosts? They're all throughout here. So. Same thing. And then instead of going back to your five, it goes to a one the second time. And then it, and that little thing right there is just Hammer on from five, six, one, two. So you got this. And you do this little to lead you to the two. Not to the one, but so when you have to go to the one first to get to that two, you go octaves on your two, and then you go five, four, three, five, four, three. All right, and then you're gonna go, and all this is is three, two, one, six, flat seven. And I do this little trill, which is just like a little trill on that flat three. But the trick of it is, is that you don't want to hear, you just want to hear a little movement. All right, so flat seven, one, two, five. five. So, uh, 
one, uh, five, pop, five, five, six, one, two, one. All right. And that's what the first part of it is. Now, on the song, he doesn't really do any crazy licks on this part, but I, I kind of had this cool idea of doing like. So the lick starts right here on the second position of the pentaton scale, and you're just going three, four, five, two, three, and it's gonna be one, six, five, four. And that's it. All right, so the next little part, what I do is this. And all that is is just four, three, two, one, seven, six. And all I'm doing is. And that's just two, three, five. And then you just go back to the normal. So then pretty much after that, you just kind of go back and just finish it out just like normal. And honestly, that is literally the whole thing, the whole video clip that I wanted to, to break down. Practice this, take it a little piece at a time, take it a part at a time if it's really a lot for you. If you guys have any questions about any of the things that I covered in today's video, feel free to drop a comment below or hit me up on my Instagram at T Dykes. Huge thanks to Thaddeus Johnson just for being such an incredible, inspiring player that we can learn from. If you guys want more of his content, feel free to check him out on Instagram and YouTube. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit the like, subscribe, and that bell so you're notified when the newest videos are uploaded. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.